guys. Um, I've got a very exciting new tool to show you today. So we've just been granted early access to a really powerful cloud streamed app. It's made by Unreal. It's called MetaHuman Creator. And we can now create photorealistic humans in just a matter of minutes. So let's just jump straight into the tool and have a look. So this is our starting point. We've got a whole host of different faces that vary in skin tone, hair color, age, ethnicity. And we just need to pick one of these to, uh, to start with. So let's pick this guy. Okay, and once we're into the tool now, we can see all of our different options on the side. Now, I imagine these are quite limited because this is uh, early access. This isn't a fully published release piece of software just yet. So we can go in straight away and start modifying our character's face. So let's take a look at skin color. We can change the skin color. There we go. Add roughness to the face as well. We could add freckles as well if we wanted to. And we can add some accents to various parts of this person's face. So his forehead a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, we can jump in and modify the eyes. So I think we're going to have blue eyes on this character. We can change the iris shape as well. There's a few other options here for various different uh, elements of the iris. So we can make it a little bit more saturated, brighter eyes. We can modify the style of the iris as well. We could even change the colors. We could have both eyes blue. We could have one blue and one green. Okay, we can add some veins to the eyes to make it a little bit more realistic and we can increase or decrease the brightness. So I think for now, we'll just reduce it slightly. Okay, onto teeth. This is where we've got full control over the teeth, so we can shift our bottom teeth along so that they're not super perfect. We can change the bite. We can vary the style. There we go. We can change the tooth color, gum color. Let's make his gums a little bit more rosy. We can add or decrease the plaque amount. There we go, they look like pretty realistic teeth. Okay, and we could add some makeup as well if we wanted to. I imagine these are quite uh, limited for now in this version, but I imagine when we get the, the full version of this uh, software, this cloud app, we'll have a lot more options. We may even be able to create our own makeup styles. Okay, onto the head. We can change the hairstyle from a whole list of presets. One. Okay, I quite like that. We can modify the eyebrows. There we go. And we can change our eyelashes too. Okay, so I think this character needs to have a beard. And we could also add a moustache as well. Okay, so let's take a look at that in action. Okay, now they seem to have put in a lot of effort into the face tools. Uh, but we can also modify body type, so we can look at the body shape. And I think this guy should probably be average height, fairly slim build. We can modify the top, let's pop him in a shirt, change the primary colors, give him a nice crisp white shirt. We can change the bottoms. And again, I imagine when we get this uh, full version of this software, we'll have a lot more options than just three three pairs of jeans. Let's put him in some boots. Okay, now let's zoom out and see our character. And we can preview that as well. So there's other things we can do, a little bit more technical. Other things we can do, we can 
blend different characters in to each other. Um, we can move elements, so maybe his eyes are a little bit too high, so let's move them down and inwards a little bit. We can move the eyebrows down, we can move the nose slightly, we can lower the mouth, modify the ears. So we can really do what we want, want with this. And then you can even go in and sculpt it. So you can really, really refine elements you know, by bringing in really, really refined detail. Okay, there we go. Let's go back to preview, see how our character's looking. Excellent. Okay, so now we've finished creating our MetaHuman, we can download it, we can use it in our preferred 3D software. The character is fully rigged for animation, it's fully editable, so we can further refine textures and meshes uh, in, our own, in our own software. So there we have it, it's a really powerful tool, and we hope to be able to offer it to you very soon.